Hey everyone, welcome to my comparative static Corno video. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to show you how to be able to answer questions like these. How does our Q or our P or any other outcome from our model change when we change some parameter within it? In this case, the number of firms. So, let me introduce you to the model so far. Demand curve. There's quantity the sum of all the individual quantities. There's n firms. They all have symmetric cost. Based on these assumptions, here's what the individual firm makes. Here's the market Q and here's the market P. Uh, I have a whole different video where I derive all of these, the Corno competition with n firms. You can look for that if you don't know where those numbers came from. It'll be very exciting stuff. I almost promise it but I don't promise it. Anyway, so let's get to these questions. How does Q1 change with N? Well, whenever we do comparative statics, we are going to do the same kind of thing, and we're gonna use some calculus. I'm gonna say derivative of QI with respect to N, and that is going to be equal to minus A minus C over b over 1 plus n squared. Now, first thing I can tell you is under most parameterizations, this will be negative, meaning that the more firms there are, the less each firm makes individually. The other thing I can tell you is based on what values of a, c, b, and n are realized, I can tell you the exact rate of change for every additional firm, how fast does quantity fall. Uh, if I want to answer how does the market price change with n, same idea. D, Q, I, D, N, oh, sorry, not Q, I. D, P, D, N is equal to C minus A over N plus 1 squared. I'll make that A prettier. Now, I could just as well ask about any variable I want to, it's going to follow this format. If I want to see how Q, oops, if I want to see how QI changes with n, I take the derivative of QI with respect to n. If I want to take see how P changes with n, I take the derivative of P with respect to n. If, on the other hand, I wanted to do something different, if I wanted to see how P changes with C, I would do derivative of P with respect to C, and so on. This is how we do comparative statics. This is it in a nutshell. This is one of the ways we use calculus to make our analysis easier. We can use our models to predict the effect of changes in our market. And here they are for Cornell. So I hope it's helpful. If not, you know, at least it was short. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.